Hello, this is the tutorial for the recording mode of AutoClicker. Before starting the recording, let's look at the recording settings. The first option is the Record Intervals option. If this is enabled, it will record the intervals between each click or key press. Otherwise, it will only record the locations of the clicks and the pressed keys and execute them immediately without any intervals. If enabled, a second option appears, the Ignore Interval Before First Click option. With this, the recording will always start on your first action, without any interval at the beginning. Key presses and mouse scrolls are also recorded. If you want to exclude any of these, simply uncheck the corresponding option. You can also decide whether the cursor position should be recorded for them. Additionally, you can choose whether the whole duration is recorded for clicks and key presses, or if the mouse movement will be recorded when clicking using the drag functionality. Let's record something now. To start the recording, you need to press the F8 key. The key can be changed in the Configuration tab if you want. A green circle in the bottom left corner indicates that the recording is on. Now let's do a few clicks and also press some keys for the recording. Once you've finished the actions, you can press F8 again to stop the recording. The recording will be saved and appear in the Recording tab. We can change the recording name for better organization. Let's name it Tutorial Recording. Now, let's see how to play the recording. First, let's change the mode to Recording by clicking on the arrow button on the bottom right corner. After that, we need to select which recording will be played. You can choose to repeat the recording until the clicker is stopped or to repeat it a specific amount of times. Let's repeat it three times. You can also set an interval between each time the recording is executed before repeating. Let's use a one second interval. The move cursor option is also available here, just like in standard mode. Let's start the clicker and test the recording now. Good. You might want to use the recording in advanced mode so you can edit something or maybe use it alongside other stuff. To do that, we can click on the edit button and then create a custom block from the recording. Now, if we go to advanced mode, it will be available as a custom block. Let's add a one second interval and set to repeat three times just like before. Now, just change to advanced mode again and start the clicker. Now you have the same behavior in advanced mode, so you can edit the recording however you want. These are all the features on recording mode. Thank you for watching.